Hello there. We're going to do a real quick introduction to our open response that we will be completing in class with this lesson. And as you can see, the lesson is entitled 2.6, Little and Big. And from the picture there, hopefully you've got an idea that it might have something to do with dogs. So your math message that this open response begins with is going to be something like this. You're going to have an in and out box, and of course it's what's my rule. You can see the numbers here in blue um, where we've put in one and we've got one out. We put in two, we get three out, and we put four in and we somehow get seven. So what you'll be doing with a partner in class is trying to work through this problem. And in doing so, you're going to need to understand some words. So we're gonna go on to our vocabulary. So a couple of the things that you're going to do for me is you are going to come up with a conjecture. And a conjecture is a type of prediction based on some given information. So. From that in and out box, you're going to come up with some conjectures for the rule for that in and out box, which means you're basically going to kind of take a guess as to what you think the rule is, and then you're going to work it out and see if it works. If it doesn't, you're going to circle no, it doesn't work, and then you're going to tell me why. Or if it does work, you're going to circle yes, and you're still going to tell me why. Okay, so we're going to use a conjecture, which is a type of prediction. You're also going to use an argument, and most of you are pretty familiar with arguments because you probably do that with your parents. Um, but an argument in this case is going to be an explanation that supports or refutes the conjecture. So maybe your argument has something to do with the fact that your conjecture doesn't work. And maybe it works for part of the inbox and outbox, but it doesn't work for all of it. So you would have to explain that in your argument. So you're going to be using some conjectures on your paper and some arguments trying to figure out the rules of this in and out box. So you've got this. Hopefully it will make sense when you see it in class. Again, this is an open response that you will be doing most of the work in class and problem solving in class. So I will see you then.